experiment slope of the uh, tangent is tan theta and you know that when theta is 90 tan is not defined so we are not taking this concept when theta is less than 90 means what theta is acute less than 90 okay and theta is greater than 90 means theta is obtuse so tan theta when theta is less than 90 tan theta will be in the first quadrant right in the first quadrant you will get tan theta to be positive so you can say that tan theta is greater than 0 when theta is less than 90 clear greater than 0 means sorry greater than 0 that means tan theta is positive and when theta is greater than 90 that is it is obtuse angle like this if you have the angle to be if this is like this theta then you will have tan theta is positive that is slope is positive and when you have theta like this it is in the second quadrant in the second quadrant tan theta is positive negative so you will get tan theta is less than 0 or it is negative when your theta is less greater than 90 understood these two things and you know that the function is increasing when we say that the function is increasing in terms of the first derivative for function is increasing if f dashed of x is greater than 0 and function is decreasing if f dashed of x is less than 0 so this is what we are going to show in the figure that how we are getting the function is increasing and function is decreasing the board with the white sheet we are first thing we are doing is we are just taking two perpendicular lines they will be acting as x and y axis okay so this is x this is y and this is the in point of intersection which is taken as o now what we need to do is we are just taking a curve like this and this curve is actually a thread you can use a thread and just uh, attach it here using glue okay and taking another like this okay understood so two threads we are taking threads or strips or whatever we are just taking and then attaching them in the paper which is attached on the board with glue in this shape you got like this after that what we are doing is we are taking some other strips that is these are two strips now we are taking some um, uh, here three and here three strings okay again same strings you can be used or the other color you can use if it is white you can just use red strips or anything else okay and we are just attaching like this like this in the sense in the manner that these strips are making obtuse angle with the x axis that's all okay no measurement taking we are just placing them again they are attached there in a manner that they are making obtuse angle with the x axis okay again we are taking three strips here in this curve in such a manner that they are making these strips are making acute angle with the x axis you can just see they are actually touching only at one point of the curve these are actually your curves and here you can just see that this strip is touching only at one point at one point at one point okay those points are taken as p1 p2 p3 here again you have three points they have taken it as m1 m2 m3 m1 m2 m3 okay so you have here three here three points so actually they are acting as tangents there so slope of the tangent means whatever they are making an angle with the axis here you can take tangent 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 like this okay so after that they are taking this as all these are obtuse angle right you are taking a b c here and again with the x axis you have to take the angle so these are the angles with the x axis and this line okay so this is l m n respectively so l m n are acute angles and a b c are obtuse angles okay so these are the considerations for the figure now after this what we need to do is when we say that a b c are obtuse 
these three are obtuse that means we have already discussed theta is a is greater than uh, 90 b is also greater than 90 c is greater than 90 and whenever they are greater than 90 what about tan a tan b and tan c what will happen to tan angles of these things uh, they will be negative they will be less than zero or you can say negative right now tan of these are negative means slope is negative right implies slopes are negative for these corresponding angles or for this curve the slope is negative you can just feel that it is from the upper part is going to the lower part as x increases the value of the function is decreasing right so that gives you an idea that the function is decreasing when the slope is negative slope is more means what slope is same as f dash of x the derivative so slope is negative means slope is less than zero so the function is decreasing when its derivative is less than zero so you got the, this concept here understood now again for this curve when you see l m and n are acute angles acute angles means l is greater than 90 sorry less than 90 m is less than 90 and n is less than 90 now whenever these are less than 90s what about tan l tan m and tan n they will be having positive values because in the first quadrant tan is positive so less than 90 values tan angles will be positive only tan angle is positive means slopes are positive slopes are positive means what f dash is positive so you can just see that if f dash is positive the curve is going like this that is as x value increases the curve is also increasing graph is also increasing so that you can say that the function is increasing if f dash of x is greater than 0 and here as x increases y is decreasing the function is decreasing so function is decreasing when f dash of x is less than 0 understood how to find out the increasing and decreasing function so this thing you have to do in the activity part you have to take the paper um, mark the x and y axis after that you take two strips and uh, as a curve you have to attach them like this then you take three strips here and three strips here but they should be like straight okay and making an angle here obtuse and here acute angle with the x-axis remaining you have to just explain local minima and point of inflection you should know what is slope of tangent which you have already discussed slope of tangent when it is parallel to x-axis parallel to x-axis means what you will get if you have a curve and uh, suppose this is the curve and slope will be like this at the point uh, so it is parallel to x-axis and when it is parallel to x-axis the slope will be zero okay when it is parallel to x-axis so slope is zero slope of tangent is zero when it is parallel to x-axis when the tangent is parallel to x-axis this concept you, you should know and the other thing is local maxima local minima and point of inflection uh, you know what is local maxima local minima and point of by first derivative test you remember maxima and minima i'll just explain you and then we will do the thing if you have the graph like this the other thing and okay this much I am just doing if I have a valley type a valley this is forming a valley and this is for forming a hill at both the points you are having the slope of the tangent to be zero but when we see to the left side of this point it is coming like this downwards and then upwards and in the above experiment we have seen that when it is downwards the functions derivative what happens it is less than 0 and here it is greater than 0 that means from negative to positive you will get a valley again from this is increasing and then decreasing that means from positive to negative this is from positive to negative from positive to negative means you are getting a hill and when it is that is the f dash i'm talking about f dash of x value okay when f dash is uh, just changing its sign from negative to positive the value which you are getting valley that is known as 
that is at that point you are getting the local minima from negative to positive now from positive to negative you will have a hill and at that you, you will say that at that point you are getting a local maxima okay now if the functions derivative is not changing its sign sign from left to right that is from if it is negative it is negative throughout it's not changing its signs at that point then we will say that that point is the point of inflection 